Hey guys, what up here, and welcome back to NASCAR Night 2004 for race 31 of 36, season 3 of the career mode. We're going to Lowe's today, and yes, um, and this is another race where I do a throwback. And this is to the uh, the car I used from season 1, race 28, to season 2, race 17. And it was a tribute to, uh, oh my god, I forgot. I need to look at my freaking notes here. I think it's the Davy. I think it's the Davy Allison, I'm pretty sure. What is it? I should, see, I should have done this off camera, but no, I'm fucking stupid. Oh yeah, it's, okay, no, it's Alan, it's Alan Quickie. I'm sorry, I forgot. It's been uh, been since like December or January since I last used this scheme, so <laughs> I, I forgot. Anyways, uh, yeah, so brought it back for this race only, and I always liked it. I always thought it was a cool scheme, so uh, thanks to NASCAR Nixon for that. I still love you, by the way. Anyways, um, team management, let's just pick out our stuff. Garage, uh, not pick out our stuff, just check, check out everything. Chassis, this is what's going on here. Engine... Again, we can we can't really do anything because everything's still being built or overhauled, repaired, and all that jazz. Also, uh, shop additions, uh, eight more races on the balancer. Anyways, let's just get right into this race. Chassis, we're gonna go with number. I'm not gonna go with the best stuff here because I want to save it for Martinsville because that's the next race after this. So, I'm gonna go with chassis five here, and then engine will go with number four, and body I'll pick. And we'll go with number six. It's car rating 79, obviously not as good as, um, I think, uh, Kansas, I believe, where it was an 81. So, I mean, it's expected because I'm not using the best stuff, but 79 is still good. I think we can win this race as long as, you know, no, no lap traffic can fuck us over, which it could happen. It could happen. It's happened uh, three out of the last four races. So, anyways, without further ado, let's just uh, get into qualifying and see where we start here. Hang on, turn four, the first steps of 29.2. I kind of messed up three and four just a little bit, but we're gonna come across the line with a 28.9, three tenths or four tenths faster, and it'll get us 11th. On the inside line, so that's good. Obviously, we don't get our sponsor objective, but whatever, this game's <laughs> objectives are way too freaking insane. But anyways, let's just get into the race. I feel a win, but you never know. I I thought I was gonna win New Hampshire, but nah, -uh, lap traffic. And I thought I was gonna win Dover, nah, -uh, lap traffic. So I'm not I'm I'm not gonna count my chickens before they hatch. Tony Stewart and Mark Martin start up in the front row. Let's get this race underway here at Lowe's. Three, two, one. Green flags out. We're underway here for 33 laps. Starting on the inside, it's obviously not as long as the Coke 600 because this is the 500 mile version of this race. So that's interesting. Um, an interesting fun fact, I believe in 2002 was the first uh, uh, year where they did the, the Bank of America, you know, UAW, GM Quality 500 race in and, and, and night. So I believe that was the case, which I don't know. I don't, like, it's weird because I, 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 I burp being why not? But normally, like, I don't know. Maybe it's just me that I just like the idea of, like, one race being in the day and another one being at night. I just thought the day races were always kind of neat. I didn't think it was necessary to have both of them in night races. I don't know. That's just me. But as I'm talking about uh, stuff from the past, I'm in eighth. We gained a couple spots on the, the first two laps, and this car, uh, just like the first uh, time we went here earlier this season, uh, we're fast. <laughs> that's uh, that's not really anything shocking, but it's good to, to know, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, we passed Rusty Wallace for 7th. We're going to try to get the inside. Junior got a really good run off of 2. Now we're 3 wide, and Junior actually gives me racing room. So, thank you, Junior. Something lap cars probably wouldn't freaking do. So, yeah, I'm, I like how the lead lap cars race me more with, like, actual respect on lap down cars. Like, what what reality is this? It should be the other way around. around shouldn't it? <laughs> I don't know, but Mark's dropping a couple spots since the race started. He was on the outside, so I could explain it. Stewart's still leading, which... You know, it's amazing. You know, I try to pull away from Stewart because I know we're probably going to suck at uh, Martinsville and Atlanta. So all the points we gained from even the, even the wins that we got, like at uh, Talladega and at Kansas, it's just 
I might go all the way in one race, just because Stuart is just that. This is like 2000. If anybody remembers remembers playing like uh, NASCAR 6 Total Team Control, Tony Stewart was like so damn like just good in that game, like his AI counterpart, and like he was like top four, top five every every race. So I mean, it just, it's 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 on that tier of just amazingness. Oh my God, that was the worst. <laughs> that was the worst part of the track to try to make a move going in the corner when there was no room to make there, but. We had a really good run off of four. We get to the inside of Jarrett. Oh, nip the grass a little bit, but it's okay. We Okay, hit the grass again. Go two for two there. And there we go. We clear Dale Jarrett. And now our sights on Tony Stewart. Yeah, this car is freaking fast. It likes to go, even though I kind of messed up in turn one there a little bit. But the car really, it, it likes to go. It, it, that's, it's a very nice feeling. Slowly but surely we're catching Stewart here. We just get such good runs like off of two and four it just catapults us on these straights and it just sucks us into them so much closer and look at that we got such a run on Stewart. now we're gonna be side by side with them going into one the car gets a little bit sideways but we're still side by side with them we should be able to clear them off of two and we do barely but we get the lead seven laps into the race and now it's just time to pull away just in case the pit crew make a mistake and slow or and put as far back i don't know so this is the part of the race where i'm just going to go into ultimate sweat mood and try to pull away from stewart as much as i can just to get a good buffer zone between me and him in case the pit crew make a very um, cancerous error the gap has increased to 2.8 seconds as you see dale jared took over the second spot and stewart is now in fifth so he must not have a very good long running car because he's fallen off the pace a little bit since uh you know, last time, uh, you know, you saw me, which was only like a second ago, but yeah, but still pulling away, got a very good gap on everybody, as you see, even on the track map, we got a really good cushion, but I gotta have that, just in case the crew make a mistake, I will be pitting on lap 16, lap going into 17, not exactly halfway, but because it's like an odd number, so I mean, you really can't go like half, exactly halfway, so I'm gonna, go, you know, I'm gonna go 16 laps in, so yeah. there you go, there's my strategy, <laughs> nothing new, I mean, it's, I've always done it like that. Heading down pit road this time by 70 miles an hour. Went in there a little bit too aggressive, but there we go. 67 miles an hour. Four tires, repaired, not repair damage. Full tank of fuel, not going to make a adjustment. Let's just see what our pit crew can do here as I get held up by McMurray. Thanks, McMurray. Um, yeah, we got a big lead here. And oh, oh, there, oh, there goes all of our lead because we're getting held up. Okay. okay. See, that's that's why you, you just never know. The driver gets his mark. The crew will go around. They'll go to the right side first. Fifteen one second stop. That was actually pretty good, all things considered. They beat the SMA time, and somehow Harvick caught up to me. So now we're side by side with him. He's not really giving me any freaking room. All right, we're just gonna be side by side off pit road here. What? What is this? Harvick gave me Oh my god, he came up across the track. Um, yeah, I had like a damn near five second lead and it went all the way. It just, it, it went completely gone. Now we're back into Virgil P3. That is, that is unbelievable. Like, I, I put such a gap on second place and I still will not be able to get the lead once this all cycles through. That's why it's so important to just haul ass and try to get as big of a gap from the leader as possible because you just never know. And it is honestly a little bit frustrating because, you know, I, I busted my butt trying to nail those laps, you know, lap after lap, and just for it to kind of go all the way there, it's a little frustrating. But we were, right, we're right there with them. I know we have the best car. We just really got to pace ourselves here. We got a lot of uh, laps left to go. So I'm not too worried about that. Just a little bit disappointed in that and everything because I really thought that we could have uh, continued to pull away and kind of drifted through turn one for really no good reason but we're almost to the inside of Harvick there but these guys are kind of keeping up with me here for a little bit but last of the lead lap cars are heading down pit road this should put me back in uh, second place once this is all uh, finalized get a really good run off of four man I just get such a good run off the corner like <laughs> and there we go side by side with Jared and we retake the lead uh, I, I don't <laughs> Yeah, that was the sloppiest way of uh, making a clean pass on someone, but we made it work. But um, yeah, we lost a lot of uh, time on that. But we got the lead back, 
this car again is freaking amazing even if it's not the best rated car we've had it's really freaking fast so we got 14 nearly 13 to go when we hit the line now and uh yeah just gonna start cruising because we got this race under our control nine laps to go into the race catching up to Hermie sadly here thankfully he's not gonna block me so that's good I mean, i'm getting a little bit of like a ptsd thing from uh, all these you know lap cars trying to you know, block me off the damn track so we get by him just fine i think that's Jeff Green up ahead of me, or Fittipaldi, I can't tell, it's, I know it's like a green, or not green, I'm not colorblind, god, good god, but it's, it's a yellow car, so I don't know, but, just been pulling away steadily over Jared, and the lead just continues to grow, 2.1 seconds, now we just have to worry about this one other lap car in front of me, and then after that, it is for the most part clear sailing until then, don't, I swear to god, yep, you, you fucking, don't you block me! Oh my god, it's ridiculous! I mean, it was kind of my fault because I didn't pull all the way down to the left, but still, it just... Why? Why is this so difficult? It happened at freaking Kansas as well, and it almost... And it happened here again as well, like... Why? Why is this a trend? This is not funny at all. It pisses me off. Oh boy, we're catching more lap traffic. Try to get down to pass Sprague here. Get by him, no problem. Bunch of tire smoke because I messed up going into one, but... The inside of Fittipaldi here. This is like the most like nerve-wracking part of the race because I just don't know what these guys are going to do. But we get by Fittipaldi just fine. I didn't think we'll be able to catch more lap cars, but I was wrong. Our car is so amazing, it exceeded my expectations. Here's Ash and Lewis who blocked me at freaking uh, Dover for no good reason. And Biffle who I think brake checked me at Kansas. But I think he was like stuck behind someone. I don't know. But they're letting me go. Steve Park, thank you. David Green, thank you. I don't know, maybe David Quiggy put the fear of God in him or something and like was saying, if you block me, I will kill your family or something fucked up like that because, I mean, he was he was fed up. I mean, he was telling me even though I mean, we're like the same person. I'm like having like multiple personality disorder as I play this freaking game. <laughs> but we get by this 199 car and heading off turn four. The white flag is going to be coming out here. One more lap to go 5.2 second lead over jared just imagine if the pit crew did not make a mistake or i wasn't getting held up down pit road that could have been that could have been a damn near like 10 second lead at least i could have so that just this is something that just will eat at me at night like i'll win and i'll be like how bush would be like you would in a good way you're good enough i didn't let don't feel but anyways off of turn four we will get our 18th win of the career of the, of the season and there we go, that was great. Next to no damage on the car. Great to see this car in paint scheme back in victory lane, so that's awesome. Davey Quickie time. It's been a while since I last uh, won in this paint scheme, so. Yeah, let's, uh, let's celebrate, or let's do our tribute. Our one lap is over. And let's just uh, see our guy celebrate here. A pretty uh, damn near flawless race on my part. The pit crew, they're, they done fucked up. I don't know, but anyways, let's just hear guys celebrate. I'm, I'm so glad I fast forwarded because it, it happens so many times now. It's just like, we get it, you know, just just go. <laughs> Let, let's just celebrate. I don't know. That was good. That was good. A, a little bit ironic that the trophy is yellow ish and my. Driver's fire suit is yellow, so that's another uh, conspiracy theory of yellow being of a uh, bit like a banana. So I mean, there it's a conspiracy, um, sexist joke. I don't. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, let's just look out the grid. We led 23 to 33 last. Mark Martin gets a top five. Tony Stewart went from first to seventh. So that's nice. We gained more points on him. Jimmy scrapped with the top ten. Uh, where's my boy Terry Labani? He got 22nd, but started 34th. And Junior, who started 9th, gets 23rd. So I don't know what happened to him. He lost a lot of spots. Surprising to see him not do well in this game, considering uh, he normally performs well. But we lap up to uh, 33 cars on laps. So interesting. So that's it. We get a couple um, extra million, like 1.8 million, I think, in the bank. So, all right. Um, let's just get out of here and just check out the, the garage and standings here real quick. Next race is Martinsville, and I'm a little bit nervous about that because we never do well at Martinsville. It just always seems to be low-key the worst track for me. I don't know what it is. It just, I don't know. But 
we're gonna bring out the best stuff we got for this and uh, to hope for the best for a land afterwards because I mean we gotta <laughs> uh, I mean I'm not super worried because realistically we got a big points lead it's it, but it's, it would be nice to do well at Martinsville for once I don't know team management let's just check everything out here in the garage everything's all repaired but I did anything uh I mean, I guess I could start overhauling some stuff, so. Uh, number eight, we're going to leave as is. Probably repair. Eh, probably repair number five, just because the, um. No, nah, repair, repair number seven, just because of the conditions 1% lower. So, I'll overhaul it for that one extra percent on the tire wear. Engines, uh. Mm, uh, what should I repair? I guess number five as well, just because the power's a little bit down, so we're going to overhaul that. Yeah, we could definitely overhaul it. Two races for that. And let's check out the bodies. We can't do anything here until the end of next race. So, shop additions, eight more, or seven more races for that thing, thingy majiggy. Uh, point standings, let's check that out real quick. It should be over 300 points again, or more than 300 points. And that was our 18th win of the career mode. Doing very well this season compared to last season. Just average tier 3.6, that's, I don't believe that. It's way too good. Anyways, that's not, we got a lot. It's, it's been a good season. It's been a good season. Um, Stewart's still second. Newman in the third. Junior lost some ground, so maybe he went down to fourth. I don't know. And here's top 10, and here's top 15. So, yeah, that's it. Next race will be Martinsville. I hope I can survive. I'll probably bring the, uh, what's the next one I have to use? The uh, It'll be a Davy Allison one. I didn't specify which one it would be, but I used it from season two round 18 to the end of season, for season two race 18 to season two race 36. So 18 races I used this paint scheme, so I need to look it up and remember it. So I'll, I'll do that after this is uh, this is over. So anyways, thank you for watching. Like I always say, I do appreciate love, feedback, and support. All you guys give me in the comment section below and as well as liking the video because it helps me a lot in the long run. I will see you all at Martinsville and I'll probably suck there. And as always, have a good day, everyone.